Hey everybody and welcome back to MH Tutorials. My name is Mike and today we're going to do a Photoshop tutorial where I'm going to show you an alternative way to get haze out of your photos. So here we go. All right guys, well we're in uh, Photoshop as you can see and uh, I pulled up this image. You can see that it's very, very hazy and uh, I know that there are a bunch of tutorials out there on YouTube how to fix that haze. This is a slightly different approach. Okay, it works quite well for me, so hopefully this will help you out. And that said, let's get started. Okay, so I got my image right here, and this is my original, and I don't want to mess with that. So I'm just going to drag that down and drop that right here to create a copy. Come on. There we go. I'm going to double click on that. I'll just call this working copy. All right. Now, that's the layer that I'm gonna work with. So with that selected, I'm gonna go down and uh, hit this uh, ball right there, okay? And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go into curves. Now, in this curve here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my blue channel because I want to um, work with the sky mainly, okay? And I'm gonna take this right guy right here, push that in, push that one in as well and kind of check your sky until you're happy with the result so far let's see yeah I think that looks okay for me anyway all right so I'm happy with that so then next what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and uh, select this guy we're gonna change the blend mode from normal to overlay okay now once you do that you see that your sky is nice and blue and not as hazy as before problem is the foreground here is quite dark okay so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make sure that we got this guy selected we're gonna go in and we're gonna create a mask and then we're gonna make sure we've got black selected we're gonna take a nice soft brush right here let's go up take a soft brush let's go in let's see that's a good size I guess and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to Get rid of the bottom part of that image right there. As you can see, it's clearing up a lot and we're getting our detail back. And let's go in here as well. There we go. And I'll show you the difference between the original image and the one we just created. So this is after editing. This is our original. Okay, quite a difference. Okay, so that's all there's to it. So hopefully it was a helpful little trick for you guys. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you wanna see more videos in the future, please hit that subscribe button, okay? Thanks for watching, see you guys next time, bye.